Hi everyone, I want to share a loaded envelope that I created for a friend. Some of my inspiration was Twins For Me 2, KSP by Louisa, Michelle Randolph, and SS Crafter 1. And I'm sure there was many other ones that I just can't think of right now, but those are four of them that were kind of like the main people that I watched do this. Down here I just did a little flower arrangement here, and these are I Am Roses or Wild Orchid Craft. I don't know all my flowers are kind of mixed together. I have some trim here. I did a, a this is out of felt. I used the diamond eyes bow dye and my little hearts that you'll see all over this thing is a paper studio paper punch that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is the paper that I used. I used two different papers. I used this blush and mint by Recollections, and I also used this Blush Glam by Craftsmith. So that's what I mixed together. I don't have like sh a lot of shabby that I could work with, so I'm, I used those, and I think this came out so, so, so pretty. But anyway, so then I did some paper clips, and this is using the Spellbinders die. And I did that one. And then I made a little shabby key. And I just put a doily on the back of the, or on the bottom of this here. And then I did a little arrangement with some seam binding for the bow and some bling here. And then I made her some close pins. This is for a friend. So I did this little bow die. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest thing. This is my friend Sandy's bow die. And let me see if it's on my table. It is. I have to show you this little teeny tiny bow die because this is so super cute. Sorry about the glare. But let me show you that little tiny. It's this paper smooches. And it's baby bow. Oh my god, I love this little bow die. That one, and I didn't use this one. This is one of my favorite bow dies too. And I got this from my friend Sandy. This is the Tim Holtz one. Um, those are like my, my favorites right now. So anyway, so this is from the paper collection. I put um, two appliques here and a zipper with some trim there. I put some, some charms here and then this teeny tiny tiny mini tassel which I absolutely think is adorable it's a teeny tiny paper tassel and I will show you what I used for that it is actually a quilling die and it's um, quilled creations fringe mums and I used the largest one and when I first saw this of course my friend Sandy brought it over and when I first saw this the first thing I thought about was mini paper tassels and I've only done like one or two paper tassels ever. So I think these are super cute. And I have um, one already here. So what I did was I just die cut that. And then I used, actually I did use a quilling tool. And I started rolling it, adding the glue as I rolled. And then when I got to the thickness, now this one is thinner. The thickness is a lot thick, thicker here than there. Um, I cut the um I cut it the the die cut I don't know if I have the other piece not sure but these are the tops that I used and for this one I used glossy accents this one for for I don't know I just wanted to get it done quickly I used hot glue but this one I used glossy accents and it I think because of the metal it'll hold better but I used like these fairy, I don't know what they're called, but they're the bead caps that look like little fairy hats. And they have the little hole at the top. So I just stuck that on there. And you get these little tiny ta paper tassels, and I think they're so adorable. Anyways, so here I just stuck in some twirly chenille um, sticks with some flowers that I had in my stash. Here, I'll show you what I did here. I can't make a pom-pom, a yarn pom-pom for anything. Even with that pom-pom maker, they always come out horrible and my yarn is always, you know, it, it's never tight enough. So 
what I did was I got this idea. I'm like, wait a minute. I wonder if I could get a needle through these. So I have this pink yarn and I took a good size needle and I thread it with the yarn and then I stuck the needle through the yarn and if you see here, it's buried in here. I can pull this out. Okay. So I just knotted it down here and cut it to the end and then pulled it through and I have little pom-poms that look so shabby and they're so cute and um, I didn't have to make them. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so, and then I did, um, this little package of Baker's Twine, and I tried to go with some shabby colors, and I made these mini rosettes, and I put a little bow here, and these are my mini rosettes, and I just kind of, you know, just put a flower there, and a little word with a butterfly, I stickled one of the flowers and then I made these paper clips well here I did um, a love out of um, pipe cleaners or chenille and then another um, clothespin just to hold it on there and then these are my little paper clips that I made for her. I made her another coffee cup one. And then these little girls I got from Yolali. Thank you, Yolali. She's another one that um, comes to our crafty days here. And then I put a piece of paper on the back here that says love each other. And I used the Tim Holtz. Um, I used the Tim Holtz um, on the edge die, the alterations die with the butterflies. And I kind of paper pieced it so it would be 3D. Oh, and I did use this little bow die. This one that I said I didn't use. So I used it right here. I didn't have the right color of, I don't know, the gold paper that I had didn't really match well. So I just used a paint pen to paint one of those. And then let me show you my wand. And I made a wand for her. And really simple. Um, the, the straws that I used were these buttercream straws that um, Joann's had. And I didn't have to reinforce the inside of them because they're nice and strong. So I put some paper twirls here. And this, all you have to do is cut the strips, wet the paper, and then wrap it around, something round, like even your straw. And then I put my heat gun to it. I take it off and I put my heat gun, I hold it and put my heat gun to it and it it dries and it twirls the paper and I think that's so cute but and then I put bling here and then I just did a large rosette and a lot of the dies that I used were um, or some of these die cuts like this was done with my brother scan and cut and Lori Whitlock is an Etsy I believe it's an Etsy store I buy a lot of my SVG files from her um, but I will put links down below and then this is a spellbinder's die, and of course I put some eyelash trim back there. And then this is a flower, a crocheted flower that I think I probably got it from the $1.50 bin at Michael's. I'm not sure, just it was in my bag of um, doilies, so I took that out and used that. So and then this got the clean back. And then last but not least, the back of it, I just did the back really, really simple. I made a little pocket so I could put little note cards in here. Um, I'm going to write on the back of one of these and then a gold doily right there and then your genuine self is your best self. Um, I just love all the sayings in this little tiny blush and mint paper pad. It's kind of like a, um, you know, it's like a um, an encouragement kind of pad, you know. So anyways, so that is my very first loaded envelope and I hope you all like it and thanks so much for watching.